So in this recording, I am going to uh, share my exploration on Langchain MCP adapters. Langchain, Langchain has now uh, created a package through which we can uh, connect to the model context protocol servers. We can connect to any number of uh, servers. And uh, this adapter, this library provides a lightweight wrapper uh, that makes the MCP tools compatible with Langchain and Langgraph, right? Um, so uh, it, it converts the MCP tools into Langchain tools that can be used with Langgraph agents. And a client implementation, it allows you to connect to multiple MCP servers, right? And then the React agent, uh, based on the prompt, decides uh, which server to uh, use to call the tool, right? So there are uh, examples here how um, you can do it. What I did is I created a MCP server to read um, archive paper. Right? I gave it an uh, archive paper reading tool. And through the Langgraph uh, React agent, I uh, was able to ask the React agent a question on a topic. And it used that archive tool through the MCP server to get the information and give it to me, right? That is what I'll show you today, right? So the first of all, like the server, it's um, a, so this is where I put the MCP tool. So this is the MCP server. I um, imported the fast MCP, created the MCP archive server here. And this is the, so at the rate MCP tool, this is the decorator which tells that MCP server that this is a um, tool that needs to be exposed to the server. And this is where I have um, written the logic to search archive based on a topic and maximum results as five, right? So this is a uh, simple logic, right? Where uh, archive provides a URL through which I can pass a query with the, the topic and it will return me uh, the papers and all those papers, the title, author, summary, link, I have appended. This is a very simple uh, logic and I'm returning the papers, right? And then I am starting this server in the SSE mode. Uh, if you uh, are aware about model context protocol, there are uh, two types of transport protocol. One is SDDIO and SSE. Uh, here, um, SSE is what I have uh, used and the only tool that it exposes is the search archive tool, right? Then in the Langchain MCP client, this is how the wrapper works, right? Um, so now Langchain has something called multi-server MCP client where I can add multiple servers. So since I have only one server right now, I have provided one server. But let's say I have multiple uh, MCP servers. I can I can uh, give it in 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 uh, this way, right? I can uh, make a map or a uh, dictionary of those uh, servers and then provide those servers here, right? For example, this is the archive server that I'm using, right? If I have a math server, right, I can give the math server like this, right? And then I am using the create React agent from the Langgraph uh, package, Langgraph prebuilt chat agent executor, right? And this is where um, we are uh, getting the tools. So client.get tools gives the tools to the create React agent. Uh, I had to add the prompt equal to prompt because the React agent, the way it works, if it decides that it it uh, doesn't need to use the tool, it will give the answer. Otherwise, uh, it will dynamically uh, on the uh, run decide whether to use a tool or not. So the prompt, I told it to always use the archive server tool to answer a question, right? And then I said, um, I want to know about uh, neural network uh, architecture, right? So, and then uh, all the messages, uh, usually the when the create react agent gives you the response back, yeah, human message, tool message, AI message, all will be there in, in a list. Um, I'm just filtering out the AI message to get the exact uh, output from the create react agent after it uh, uh, calls a tool right so let me run this and show it to you i'm printing the client dot get tools also to show you uh, what it returns the client get tools so see this is what it returned exactly like in mcp 
uh, when you uh, do the tool list, list tool, right? That is what the get tools is doing, right? It is uh, uh, listing all the all the tools that are available. Right now, I have only the search archive tool, right? And then finally, it gave me gave me this five answers because uh, the archive tool that I have, I said like uh, only uh, return me only five results. Right? So it gave me. So I asked about neural network architecture. So it gave me one from uh, Evelyn her work, right? Um, then one from King Beigo, uh Network Architecture Evolution, Quantum Computer, uh, Assessing Architectural Similarity in Population of Deep Neural Network, Agnostic Neural Network. So I use, I, I read a lot of archive papers. Um, so this is kind of uh, a personal productivity uh, tool for me as well. So that's all I wanted to share as part of this recording. Thank you.